Today, I want to talk about five things that you can do in order to achieve your health and fitness goals faster and also once and for all. Hey guys, what's up? This is Travis Gill, founder of Fitness Artist. Happy Friday and welcome to our YouTube channel. I do want to talk about a thing that's been on my mind for quite some time and I know it's been on your mind, actually being able to achieve your health and fitness goals. So there's so many people that start off with great intentions. They feel as though, you know, this is going to be my year. They're setting that New Year's resolution, but three, four weeks into it, they just start tailing off. You know, they they can't figure out why. Today, I want to talk about five things that you can do in order to achieve your health and fitness goals faster and also once and for all. All right, folks, number one, what? What is your goal? It blows my mind how many people just don't know what their goal is. How are you going to achieve it if you don't know what you want? So I challenge you to take 20 minutes, half hour, or however long it takes you to sit down and write down what that specific goal is. So that will certainly help you start making decisions in the right direction to get you to that goal. All right, number two, your why. Your why needs to be super strong. What I mean by that, it's a lot more attainable if your why is very strong in regards to why you want to achieve the specific goal. If it's for somebody else, for your spouse, your kids, uh, coworkers, whatever it may be, I challenge you to dig deeper. Think about why you want to do it. You're going to run into obstacles. It's just going to happen. Three weeks in, when your body's tired, negativity starts creeping up or your, you know, your old self starts chiming in like, hey, you know, uh, what are you doing? You know, you're not seeing results fast enough, yada, yada, yada. You should quit, blah, blah, blah. You have to have some sort of ammo to battle those demons that are starting to come out. Make sure that your why is very strong. Okay, number three, get comfortable being uncomfortable. You have to do things that you're not going to want to do, whether it be waking up extra early because you know you have a long day of work. You have to get some thick skin. You have to step out of your comfort zone and do things that you just don't want to do. If you can start looking for uncomfortable situations and have that suit of armor just saying, you know what, bring it on. I am going to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You will stay on path and you will achieve your goal so much faster and it will keep you on the straight and narrow. And number four, invest in yourself, golf. I say that's so weird. Everybody makes fun of me. Golf, golf. How do you say it? I don't even know. I still don't know to this day. You know, you get a phone call from your friend and they say, oh, we're going to play 18. Why don't you come along? And you're thinking, oh man, that would be a lot of fun, but I've never played before. Yada, yada, yada. But still you go along and you go, you know what? I'm going to try this out. I can hit a ball, whatever. Can't be too hard. Then you get out on the first tee box and first you swing and you completely miss a ball, which is unbelievable. And then you try to hit it again and you you maybe hit it three to four yards. Not too much fun. It's actually, uh, it's a nightmare. What I wish I did first, instead of completely embarrassing myself, invest in uh, like an instructor showing how to properly swing and, you know, really start picking up good habits rather than trying to swing as hard as I could or whatever it may be. So I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in a coach, invest in an instructor who knows what they're doing, who's going to correct your form, who's going to make sure that you're efficient and you're actually doing the right movement moves and the workouts that are going to get you to your specific uh, body type that you want to achieve. Also investing in yourself of like, don't stay on that hamster wheel of, okay, I'm going to go to say Planet Fitness and spend $10 a month and it's not working. You just keep getting that money taken out of your account every single month. It's just like a bad habit. It's a bad record. Try something different. Invest in a professional, somebody that's going to lead you down the right path. Believe me, your money will be so well spent. Uh, I, it's, it's priceless information. And number five, lastly, you have to try to be positive 
there are so many negative people in the world, it's like nauseating, okay? You hear it everywhere you go. I was at the doctor for for a freaking checkup. You would not believe the people that were in there. It was unbelievable. There were people walking around in back braces, canes and you know and you know smokers. <sighs> you know the the raspy voices and they're complaining about this, they're complaining about that, whatever it may be. They're just so negative. They're just talking about what they don't want in their life and it, you can just feel the energy. It's terrible. Think about it though. You're going to need to to hang around or listen to positive things. I like to hang around positive people. If somebody's negative, just get away from me. Just go bring your problem or else. Some things that, that I like to do to, to stay positive are listen to audiobooks. Um, at the end of this video, I'm actually going to leave five awesome audiobooks that I like to listen to to keep me in the right mind frame and to keep me on path to achieving my goals and, and staying super positive. Positive. Those are five important things that you can do in order to help you achieve your health and fitness goals faster. And also as a bonus, I'm going to give you just two more because uh, there's just so many, but two more that just came to my mind. You have to be patient. Okay. So I know the saying, uh, it's kind of corny. Rome wasn't built in one day, but you know, you got to give yourself some time. It really does take, I would say at least 30 days for uh, you didn't notice just a little bit of change, whether it be just feeling stronger or when you go up a set of stairs, it, it really just, you know, you just feel your legs are getting stronger, your breath and your endurance is better, whatever it may be. You have to, I would say, give yourself at least 90 days. And that's when other people are really going to start noticing. And when you get to that point, you're, that's just going to fire you up more. Uh, it's going to make you want to be better and to, once you start seeing those results and feeling them, uh, it's really going to change your life and, and keep you on the path. Patience is big. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. All right. Or, um, you know, other people that might be in a fitness class with you that they may be at another level than you are. Don't worry about what they're doing. Focus on yourself. All right. Everybody in those classes, they're just thinking about themselves anyways. That whole head trash out of your mind about like, I, uh, you know, this person's looking at me or I can't believe I can't get to this point. This person's only been here for this long and they're at this level. Everybody's at a different level. You have to be patient with yourself. Slow and steady will win the race. And lastly, you need to work hard. I think, you know, it's, it's a no brainer that that's one of the most important things you have to put in the blood, sweat, and tears. Like we talked about earlier about why and, and different obstacles coming in your way. If you get to a point where, you know, you're getting tired or you feel as though you just can't do this any longer, push through it when you are feeling tired and you don't want to be there to just show up. Showing up is huge. Just show up, work hard, give it your all. If an instructor's there and you're taking a class or you're in a personal training session, just work hard. It's going to make the trainer or the instructor want to uh, even work with you uh, more or a, it's really going to make from, from my, from my world, from an instructor standpoint, we love clients who work hard. They just show up day in and day out and they give it their all. So you're going to have days where you're tired. You're going to have days where you just don't feel like giving it your all, but just do yourself a favor, fight through it. You're going to thank yourself at the end of it. But anyways, I'm rambling on here. Love you guys. Thank you for being a part of our channel. We appreciate it. If you can do us a favor, do yourself a favor, uh, hit that subscribe button on the bottom of this page. We put out some awesome content weekly. Uh, we'll put out uh, some really cool workouts to uh, spice up your routines. Uh, my wife, who's a registered dietitian, she'll put out some awesome nutritional advice. And we'll also have some cool motivational things like maybe today if you kind of think it's cool. I don't know. Um, just putting it out there. Thanks guys for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon.